Boat farming was the best way to make money in balloons, but is this still the case even after the recent nerf and how much worse did it get? Well, the short answer is yes. Boat farming is still incredibly strong and will make you way more money than other farming methods, especially since alternatives like the Monkeyopolis were hit with their own nerfs. For how much worse it got, we can look at this chart right here to see what percent the new trade empire combinations make compared to pre-version 33.0. So if you have 20 merchantmen and one trade empire, you'll be making about 85% of what you would have made in the past. But if you fully upgrade them to all flavored trades, you'll be making the same. This is because the trade empire buff to merchantmen was reduced from $20 to 15, while the buff on flavored trades remains at 20. So the focus point of the nerf was to slow down the snowball effect of placing the merchantmen and does not affect the max income that boats can make. To test this, I recreated the exact scenario for my boating guide of last patch and ended up with 86% of the money that we had back then, but it was still more than you'd need to take down around 60 boss. I did experiment with some new farming methods to make some more money, but it seems like this is still the fastest way. So once you have a good chunk of change, i.e. after beating a tier one boss and selling everything, you'll want to get a balloon trap engineer, a trade empire, and as many merchantmen down as you can afford, ideally all discounted by two monkey commerce villages. Then you'll keep placing merchantmen until you've maxed out the buff with 20 of them, and then you'll upgrade your best village to a 104 monkey city. Next, we'll get 10 central market farms, and lastly, loop back to upgrading our merchantmen to favored trades buccaneers. This should net you tons of money, but the final amount will change depending on how much you had to start with.